Hey, howdy everybody. How's it going? <laughs> My most anticipated album of the year is finally here and I'm hearing some good things, which is great because not all of the singles were amazing, but I also didn't listen to all the singles and like really get to know them because I was waiting for the album with the exception of course of I don't know how we got here, which is my number one most played song of all time on Spotify now, which is kind of crazy. But we're here. The album is finally here. Bola, Friend of a Phantom. I do not want to wait any longer. I oh, I need to hear this album. Um, my entire Vola discovery journey has been documented on this channel since the day that I first heard 24 Light Years on stream and I cried up till now. Everything I've heard from Vola's discography, it, it, I can't talk, dude. I need, I need you this album. But um, everything that I've done, everything that I've heard from Vola is on this channel. Still have to go back and listen to like the Monster EP and October Sessions, like things like that. I will get to that eventually. I just either I forget or I have other albums to get to. But this is an excuse to finally listen to more Vola. Wow, I'm excited. Let's go. Sorry, I should mention also that I heard all the singles except Paper Wolf. This is one that I haven't gone back to, but it hits really hard as an album opener so far. That chorus is good, but they do milk it a lot, especially at the end of the song. I genuinely don't think I listened to this song since I did the video on it. It's a good song. It's not one of their best, and I feel it's mostly just because they milk the chorus so much at the end. That is one thing I do remember about this song. <laughs> Having a breakdown in a Vola song? That doesn't happen every day. I love the weird rhythmic stuff going on here. Ah, I can't, I, I can't get it. They could have ended it right there. They, they should have ended it right there. I do like this chorus switch up though, I do like the chord switch up, so maybe make this the last chorus? You know, honestly I think on repeat listens I won't mind it as much, because they they are only repeating it twice. Maybe I was overly critical of it the first time I listened to it. Yeah, solid track, dude. On a re-listen, I do like it better. Break My Lying Tongue was, I believe, yeah, this was the first single that I listened to, because I didn't actually hear Paper Wolf. I have heard the chorus. Uh, it was like spoiled for me in Drew's reaction to Cannibal. I think he played a little bit of the chorus part. It's a good melody. I know the lyrics, I know people are all like, oh, the lyrics are cringe. Lyrics don't bother me. If they're bad, they don't bother me. If they're good, it does make a song better, but bad lyrics don't bother me. Bad lyrics, bad, like, or like a different mix doesn't bother me. Break My Lying Tongue is one song that I, th this is the other single that I listened to that I have heard more. I haven't listened to this as much as, I don't know how we got here, because that's been on repeat like forever. But this, I have listened to it more than just the one time I did the video. And I do think I stand by what I said in that, where I'm not really the biggest fan of the fact that it builds up to like just... Like, it builds up and it feels like there should be some big thing coming, but it builds and then it's just kind of flat. And then the big thing happens for 10 seconds and then the song's over. And I wish if they would have switched that part and done the build up to, like, the breakdown -y section and then had the ending, I think that would have been better. Or even ended it with the breakdown section. You didn't need, like, the instrumental. I, I, I'm going to hear it again, but yeah. Why is it so centered? Do you see, you see this in the lyric? Why is it so centered? Is this a Spotify? Uh, and why is it underlined? Is this a Spotify update? Did they did they fix the lyrics? Did they make it actually sync up? Did they fix the problems I've been having for the past couple months? Love the five four vibe we got we got going on. My stutter's coming back apparently. That's cool. The verses of this are very very. They feel very applause to me. In your Atmosphere, the little synth very piano, simple. layering the vocals makes me so happy. Reminds me of Ruby Pool or something a little bit. I will say this chorus gets stuck in my head daily, all the time. I will just find myself singing this at any random point. I don't even think it's that incredible of a chorus. Like, melodically, it's not even that great. 
but it's just so stupidly catchy. This song is really good, dude. Just not a big fan of just the ending, how it ends. Love that chorus switch up too, I talked about that in the video. This would have been maybe maybe one of my favorite Vola songs, maybe, if they stuck this landing. As it stands, it's just kind of like, oh man, it's a really good song, but it just goes into this. It feels like they should have built up into this next section. They should have just cut that instrumental part and then made this part longer. Yeah. It's just that ending, man. It's just the ending. Okay, 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 okay. First new song. Here we go, here we go. All right, first new song. How many new tracks we got? Five new tracks, technically six. I'm glad I didn't listen to Paper Wolf because then it gives me five new tracks. No, six new tracks off of a nine track EP, which when you have a nine track EP and you release four tracks as singles, that's almost half the album as singles, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So I'm glad I didn't listen to Paper Wolf because then it gives me another song for me to listen to. So I only heard the other three singles. New track, big hype, let's go. This reminds me of Gutter Moon. Great melody. Oh, I love Vola so much. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. That's so good! <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, little dude, the little 16th synths in the background. Oh. This is perfect. We will not disband. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. That's so good. One of my favorite melodic choices, I've talked about this a lot, is like when you do a fifth jump. It's that right there that sells it. Vola just know how to make perfect melodies. Ooh. Worthless. My inner vision is birthless. It's that fifth again, dude. That moves us farther apart. No, not the harmonies, dude. Oh, more of that, please. Throw this class I'm dead. I'm deceased. Whoa. 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 Huh? I don't wanna throw this class javelin. I don't wanna throw this class javelin. Oh my goodness. That may be one of the best little melodic passages I've heard all year. I don't wanna throw this class javelin. Little harmonies there too are so unbelievably good. Should I cover this song? Should I cover this song? Should I add this to my list of like 10 songs that I have said I'm going to cover, but I haven't had time to yet? I might have to. I may just have to cover this song. I don't want to break my class mannequin. Once again. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Find us. The octave lower. Find us. Final map is behind us. <laughs> okay. 
How? Listen to a Vola album without crying challenge. Impossible. Wow. And they hit you with the chord switch up and the strings? Wow. I have no words. They did it again. They, they did it. They did it again. They did it again. Shut up. They're such masters of their craft with melody making. Unbelievable. Next. Yo? This is about to explode, isn't it? Six minute song, too. They went up with that chord, I knew it. Woo! Why does that synth remind me of Tokyo Drifting by uh, Glass Animals? We're only halfway through the song. What is the rest of the. You better pop off. You better pop off. Don't do what Break My Lying Tongue does. Bring it. I'm waiting. Yeah! <laughs> Classic Vola tambourine. Big W for the in the instrumentation. Love it. What does it matter now? I don't know the words. Yeah, this has been exactly what I was hoping this album would be so far. More. Excuse me, what is that intro? What is this? <laughs> what is that synth part? People don't like this song? I get it's mostly because of the lyrics. I get it's like 99% of the lyrics that... Or it's 99% because of the lyrics, people don't like it. I don't care what y'all say, this goes hard. Dude, melodically and harmonically, this is so good. Musically, incredible. Okay, genuinely, genuinely, if they had just changed the lyric, the wolf is coming, to anything else, people would not be complaining about this song. Genuinely. I don't have a problem with the song. It doesn't bother me. This song is great. <laughs> what? I I fully went into this song expecting to not like it because of just what people have said. This is great. I love the way the verse melody and the chorus melody kind of mimic each other. It's the same kind of melody on different notes. Plus the chord choices are great, especially in the chorus. Nice little switch up. Good, good, good. The modulation here is sick. <laughs> I okay okay I I genuinely love that synth part that is so fun oh my goodness this is one of my favorite songs in the album legitimately like, like do people have a problem with this song musically musically this is so good I don't care about these lyrics they are not I expected it to be like cringe the whole time it's not I like this more than Cannibal and Break My Lying Tongue. For real. You'll have to guess the lyrics for this one. Joke's on you, I know all the lyrics already, because I've listened to it more times than any other song. I could sing along to the whole thing. I'm not going to, because I'm not going to subject you guys to that. Biggest surprise of the night, Paper Wolf is a great song. My number one most played song of all time. Let's get it. That synth is unmatched. Maybe the best Vola synth ever, possible? I think this is their second best song, only behind 24 Light Years. A boy was killed in the arcade. Alright, I'm not gonna subject you guys to that cringe. That's such a good melody. I don't know how we got so far down here. I can't not sing along, dude. 90% of the times I've listened to this song, I've, I've sung along to it. I wish I could hear myself when I sing that, because I'm probably off. I hate not hearing myself. I mean, I have, like, mic monitoring on. 
but it's not exactly very loud. I can't control the mic monitoring volume on this little mixer thing I have separately from just the volume in general. So I can hear myself faintly. Bonky. Dude, with the tambourine? Nothing quite like a good tambourine, you know? Man, that riff is great. Ooh. Dude. This is hitting harder. This song is getting better as it goes on. I'm so on board with this. Ooh. Oh! Slow it down. I know, slow it down, but half time? Yo! The kid remains hollow. The kid remains hollow. Bars, I fear. Big fan of everything this album has done so far. Even the singles I was kind of iffy on, like even these two, man, they're they're still really good. Last song, can they stick the ending? Mary's kind of spoiled it for me. He said this song was great and made him cry. Let's see how good it is. You gave up my repair. Excuse me while I strain my blind My hand is in the wrong spot. Oh, they went they went down. Oh, oh that's heavenly. Why does that hit? And your champagne is still on the tray. I was wondering how they're gonna make me cry about the word tray. I need to do a deep dive into these lyrics. Wow. Oh. This is so harmonically interesting. Incredible chord and melodic choices throughout the entire album. Mm. It's slipping away. Oh. Wow. All my rats are begging to stay. Is that what he just said? Oh. No, don't hit us with the little harmonies at the ember. Come on. Oh. Mm. <laughs> um this may be an album of the year contender i fear um i had high hopes for this one and it it fulfilled those hopes all the new songs were great paper wolf was great why were you guys lying to me I was being duped this whole time into thinking it was going to be a bad song. That did not feel like 40 minutes, are you kidding me? That flew by. By the way, I bought the marble. Or not the, not the marble, this, this one, the red marble. I bought the red marble vinyl. I was, I was going to get the green one, but I don't like the way that this looks. I know it's limited to 500. Yeah, it's limited, but like this doesn't, I don't like that with the clashing of the, co of the cover here. I like the red more, so I bought the red vinyl. Okay, my... Goodness gracious, what to say about this? I think they're like melodically, harmonically, all of that stuff that Vola does so well, the synth stuff, the way the melodies and harmonies work together, the way they keep you guessing throughout the songs. I genuinely could not have hoped for a better album in that regard. I think that was all perfect. I think it was amazingly executed and I cannot wait to get all of these songs into my head and keep listening to this on repeat for a, for, for a while. For a while. I am genuinely struggling to come up with negatives. I think on a repeat listen, I didn't mind 
the repetition of the cannibal chorus. Now that I'm listening to it again, I don't think that's actually a negative. Break My Lying Tongue? I think that may be where the one sort of middle of the road feeling with this album lies, and it's just with the structure. It's not with anything that they wrote in the harmony or melody or anything. It's just that I wish those last two, sec two sections were flipped or just take out that little instrumental chorus part and extend the heavier section at the end. I think something like that would have made the song better, but literally I have no complaints with anything else. We Will Not Disband had a great melody. Glass Mannequin was gorgeous. I was borderline in tears. Bleed Out was great. Paper Wolf was really good. I don't know how we got here. You know I love. Hollow Kid had a great groove and Trey was a perfect outro song. I think this is going to stand the test of time as one of Vola's best albums, and I think for me it is probably tied with applause for my favorite album of theirs. As I would rank it right now, it would be like either applause or this. It's hard to pick. It's been a first listen. I'm going to have to listen to it a few more times. And then uh, after applause is In Mazes. I think it just is slightly under because there's a couple tracks on there that are skips for me. Stare Without Eyes, Feed the Creatures, and Your Mind is a Helpless Dreamer. Those three I tend to skip. Applause, zero skips, zero. They're all amazing. And same with this album. That's why I like this album so much. Witness, bam, 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 bam. These four are amazing. And the last five are just okay. And I will, like, usually when I listen to Witness, I'll go listening to these the four tracks here and then I'll start listening to Freak and I'll go oh yeah the rest of the album exists and then I'll just go listen to something else. That's why Witness is my least favorite from them but 24 Light Years is their best song in my opinion. This like I said I think is tied for their best album and I, I gotta give this masterpiece. This is going in masterpiece tier. This has really been a year of albums that have either really grown on me or albums that I did not expect to be as good as they were, like this one or Fit for an Autopsy. Um, I think the individuality of the songs is the biggest strength of this album. I think each song has such an interesting, unique hook to it. The choruses are all great. They all sound so different. The biggest indicator of if an album has really, really good melodies is if I can like, if I finish the album and I go back and I'm like, oh yeah, that's that melody. That's that melody. That's that. And I can sing through the melodies of the album, of the songs in the album that I've only heard once. And I can do that with like all of these songs on this album. That's, that, that's insane. That's how you know this is a good album. Let me know what you guys thought of this album down in the comments below as usual. Thank you for checking out the video. Thank you for all your support. I don't got anything else to say. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Have a good day.